to explain that a little bit for us here. I think it's kind of interesting. I'm the spirituality coordinator at Art Herkema. One of that's one of my jobs. I'm also guardianship coordinator. But okay. Well, we'll explain both of those and, and what that means when you're involved with a business. What your role is. I guess. Well, Art Herkema is an agency that supports. Uh, it's a not-for-profit agency that supports uh, individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Mm -hmm. As guardianship coordinator, I assist families in uh, pursuing guardianship of loved ones who may be in need of guardianship. And we also have a corporate guardianship program where the agency on behalf of NYSARC is the legal guardian of eight individuals at this time. Explain uh, NYSARC for us, if it would the acronym. NYSARC is New York State ARC. Uh, it's the, our parent organization. Sure. There is a organization in basically every county in uh, New York State that is under the umbrella of NYSERC. Hmm. That's kind of interesting and unique. How do you get into a, a position like that? Uh, if, you don't, <laughs> if you don't mind your background a little bit. <laughs> well, uh, the spirituality coordinator position, that's the first position I had there. I've been there for 17 years. Uh -huh. um, it, my actually degree is in accounting. Um, it was my uh, volunteering and my family uh, situation. I had a son with autism, and we were uh, we are very um, active in our church. Sure. So it was my volunteering and those kind of things that got me the spirituality. First hand experience. Yes. You know, I want to just touch. I want to weigh in on this a little bit because you, you bring out something that's a, quite important. We talked about the guardianship for people, mm -hmm. and the people that you are dealing with in many cases are on some type of government program to assist them in surviving. They're on, they're on sometimes food stamps, SSI, social yes. security income, they get Medicaid. And one of the concerns that parents have, this kind of ties into our discussion with Lou Gelati earlier, mm -hmm. is you have parents who say, you know, I have some I have some money in my estate. When I pass, I'm going to have some money. And I would really like to benefit my child who's, you know, is participating in your program because of some type of disability. The problem is if they just leave money outright to their child, it could cause them to lose their benefits. And I'm sure you would agree that people who are of limited intellectual ability, if their routine gets disrupted, it can be very difficult for them and it can be more harmful than beneficial to them. And I just want to point out to people, if you are in a situation where either you're a parent of a child that you're watching or a sibling, and you would like to benefit that child, there is a way under the law that you can leave money in something called a supplemental needs trust, and you're nodding yes. <laughs> yes. And you can set up your, your estate, or you can do it before you die, and set up a supplemental needs trust so that the assets can be put aside and they will not disrupt the person's benefits. They won't cause them to lose their benefits, but that money then can be used for what things that are called supplemental needs, such as taking a trip somewhere, maybe purchasing uh, something for their benefit, TV set, certain things of that nature. Can you just, could you just react to that? And I'm saying that because you're nodding as I'm yes. talking about this, and people don't realize that if you leave money to a, a child who is in these programs outright, it could do more harm than good. Yes, it, it, it could. Um, and the way we assist the families in helping with these guardianships is we let them know we're not providing a legal service, definitely. Um, a 17A guardianship can be done by anybody. You can download the uh, forms on the uh, internet. It's just that it's a very, it can be very complicated for them. But uh, one thing we do ask, if there are any types of money, and if you do want to leave money, definitely look into uh, a trust, a supplemental needs trust. You're because, familiar with that term, right? Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> because it can, it can mess up their uh, social security. And um, so this is something you definitely, it, people think they're doing a wonderful thing, and they are by leaving money to their loved one, but it can cause problems down the road. So there are ways of working around that and definitely a supplemental needs trust. I just want to kind of make that make people aware that that option does exist. Mm -hmm. And if we have a child with a disability of some type and that child is getting some government benefits, don't just do the generic, will I leave everything to my three children where one of those children is, is involved in senior program. You've got to consider that supplemental needs trust because just leaving the money outright can be more detrimental than beneficial. 
Commission. Okay. Dan, uh, 924, Tammy is in from ARC Herkimer. And Tammy, this is a, this is probably pretty neat for you because you get to celebrate your position here <laughs> and, 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 and the idea of what you do with, uh, with this event that's coming up. And um, I, I want you to give us the details, but this is something that hits home for me because I mentioned this a number of times on the show, and we had fun with the other day because I kept calling Madison County, Montgomery County. But uh, I, I worked out in Montgomery County for quite some time. I have a relationship with a lot of folks out there, um, and I know the band that is gonna perform uh, quite well. Flame, um, yeah, definitely. Flame, and, I mean, amazing group. And mm -hmm. if you wanna give us the details of, of, about uh, the event coming up, and then tell us a little bit of, of, about Flame. Well, our event is the celebration of the spirit. It's the expression of faith through music. This is our ninth annual event. This is our first time having it at our new ARC Park. We had been having it every year up at Herkimer College, uh, but this year we opened our uh, brand new ARC Park, which is amazing. Sure. It is the only fully accessible recreation facility in a nine county region. Uh, so there's pretty much something for everyone's ability levels there, and it does have a bandstand. New bandstand. Yes, so cool. we're gonna break it out for uh, Saturday. Um, our uh, Celebration of the Spirit event is from one to four on Saturday, and it's featuring the Mark Bolos Band, which people in this area would know. He's um, known throughout the Northeast, really, for his uh, music. Uh, we're having Paul Whitney, who is a local musician who is, uh, he's just wonderful with our individuals. They love him. Old Friends is a group of friends, basically, <laughs> who uh, get together and they- Perfect name. It is, it is. I don't want to say they're old as well. Sure. But I mean, <laughs> they are old friends, you know? <laughs> my, my son's five and he calls one of his friends Lucas, my old pal Lucas. There so you go, so that's it, friends, they're yeah. old friends. Yep. And they're from all over the area, and they get together and sing wonderful music. Uh, Clasis is a um, group of three brothers in their teens from uh, West Winfield, I believe. Uh, I've not heard them before, but what I listened to on their uh, um, Facebook page, they sounded wonderful. So they will be joining us. The uh, the Pasquals, I believe their name is, so I can't wait to hear them. So this is a, this is a whole day filled with music. Well, yeah, we, uh, it'll be three hours, and then, of course, our uh, ending will be with Flame. Mm -hmm. Flame out of Cloversville, and they're a unique band because... They They, 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 are, they are, and, and the band members, you want to talk about <laughs> the band members a little bit? Every member of the band, and there's the vocal uh, instruments, uh, they are just wonderful. And uh, the unique thing about each of them is they each have some type of disability. So uh, the lead singer has autism. The drummer is blind. Uh, the bass player, he's uh, in a wheelchair. Doesn't stop him. Not at all. They, <laughs> Not at all. I mean, they, they, it's a fascinating group to watch. They are amazing. And their um, mission is to change the world through music. And uh, I think they they do that. Yeah, and that goes right along with uh, what what you do. I think each and every day there. So uh, again, uh, this is free and open to yes. everybody. Yes. Uh, and it is uh, this Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, one to four. Can you? Should I should I bring a chair? Should I bring a blanket? Oh, or? please bring a chair and a blanket because there aren't any of those type of things there. Um, and we're hoping the weather will stay good for the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a, uh, there will be a concession stand and it's to benefit our uh, People Are Beautiful self-advocacy group. They will be manning the concession stand that day. Uh, so please come and uh, get yourself some snacks, some drinks with them and enjoy the music for the day. It's, uh, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful event. Perfect, Tammy uh, from R. Kirkmer. Tim, we're going to put all the information, if I can, get Alex to do that and put it up on our Facebook page. But is there uh, is there a place that folks can go online or they can call if they want more information about this? It's on our Facebook page, Eric Herkimer, um, and on our uh, website, so they can uh, get information there. And uh, by calling, they would if they called our agency, they would pass it on to me, so oh. I can answer any questions. Kind of fascinating, uh, just the whole idea of. of 
your coordination there uh, from well the spirituality it's um, you know our agency felt that we look at every other aspect of an individual's life but spirituality is an important one as well so we started the program 17 years ago and uh, we provide spiritual opportunities Bible groups interface services coffee houses retreats but we also um, assist our individuals in the churches in the area and bring our individuals out to any church that they would like to participate in and become members of in the community. Sounds like a great program. I know mm -hmm. how instrumental uh, ARC is out there in the valley and in her work. Um, so continue to, to plug along and folks have really been gravitating towards the park, which is just an amazing piece down there in her career. So, and another great event scheduled for this Saturday. Alex, as I mentioned, we'll put that stuff up on our Facebook page. Tammy Helmer-Bergen from uh, Ark Herkimer, thanks for joining us this morning. 9.30 on the Talk of the